Um, I'm going to share a couple links with you guys, so so you guys can just watch for now. You don't have to you don't have to click anything quite yet. But I'm going to share a couple uh, links with you guys, and and so these again these first two links are from um, Cal Fire, and so this is um, uh, they, they update this every year or so, and in this case this is the this is uh, their tabular version. If I come up here and go to save this, this is going to be saved as a PDF. My, my tabular data management uh, program of choice could be Excel, could be Numbers, could be Google Sheets, doesn't, doesn't matter, right? So, so if I come up, I, so I, I'm searching the web, and, and Dr. Ray said we had to do this assignment. Oh, here's some stuff, right? And I go, okay, I want to, he tells me I have to, I, I need to graph this, or maybe you want to graph this because you're curious, you want to see if I'm making stuff up or if it's real. So I might come up here, right, try to copy this, and it's kind of like, what, some things get copied, other things don't, and it, it's kind of weird, but I'll, I'll try to take a grab of it, and then I'll go over here, and I'll hit paste, and it, it kind of sometimes works. Some of these things get merged, some don't get merged. The titles are all over here. It's, it's, it's kind of sloppy. So I could do that, and then I could go, and I could maybe manipulate it, and maybe you know, eyeballing it, make it work. And that might be okay if, if we have 10 numbers, right? But once we start getting into more realistic numbers, that's going to take a lot of time. And it would be nice since this thing is coming out, um, this thing is coming out, uh, uh, you know, as a, as a standard output, why couldn't they just give me an Excel file or a CSV file or a, or a whatever the heck file, right? And so um, we'll encounter this a lot. And so the tool that we're going to start using today is a tool to, um, where am I? is a tool called Tabula. And so um, I'll, show, I'll share this link in a second. And there's an option for if you're on a, uh, on a, a Linux machine or a Mac or a PC or whatever. So it's open source software, so it's free. So it works on everybody, you don't need to pay any money. And essentially you download this tool, and then it's a PDF scraper. So we're gonna, so it's a tool that's gonna, it's gonna go look at this and go, ah, I see. This is, this, this is, even though it says Mendocino complex here, and then it says parentheses human related, it, it's, this is all in one cell. Like this should all be together, as opposed to trying to split that off into two. And um, like this one here where it says, in this case, it says how, uh, how big the fire is. This one, even though, so it's number, 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 number. This one has a number with some letters and another number was, like, it, right? So it'll, it'll, it sort of understands all this. So this, is, this should be in, in this cell and that should be in that cell. Okay. So you're going to download that program. Um, and, and then I can open up this file and save it. And you'll see when, I, when you first open it up, it's going to do a default thinking, hey, is this what you want me to grab? And you can adjust it. So if, if you only wanted some columns, you could, you could shrink it. If it didn't get something right, you can tweak it. And then you can export it. OK? Make sense? And then once, it, once it's in that nice tabular form, then we can take it into any of our graphing programs. Recall that, our, that you're welcome to use any uh, quantitative graphing program you want. Not Excel. Excel is great for manipulating data. Excel is lame for making graphs. Um, and so you need to be, you need to use a, we need to use a professional graphing tool here. And so you could use R, you could use whatever you're used to if you have your own um, uh, tool that you like. If not, Plotly is our default tool. So, so everybody installed, sort of got Plotly running, and so, but maybe we haven't tried it yet. So this is our first opportunity to try Plotly. And what you guys can just do is make two professional graphs. I'm gonna, I'll pause in a second and I'll, I'll, I'll post these links. But basically, you're going to do you're going to graph for me the 20 um, largest fires in California state history over time, and the 20 um, uh, 20 most deadly fires to sort of see hey are they more common recently or are they more calm, common back in the day? And it'll also be our first practice of, of of working on professionalizing our formatting of this data 